I am using my new GoPro Sessions on this little like float type handle stick. It's like six, seven, maybe eight inches long, whatever. And I found this the other day on eBay. It's a GoPro Sessions 4. I believe they just came out with a 5. And this one here is... Uh, this one here I found and it's uh, I found a really good price on it actually so I bought this because I've been looking for another camera to do multiple angles with and I wanted a GoPro because it's my favorite camera so I like it better than all the other cameras I've had so this is it but check this out this is a property you guys have probably seen me plow in the past and not this side over here I mow this side here this whole thing the side there and behind the house but anyway I plow the whole thing in the winter time but this is it and I have definitely filmed this one a couple times sorry I had to pull off to one side of the driveway back up the other side of the driveway it's really not that hard but that's what I gotta do to pull up over to the side here where I park so that I can get the mowers off but anyway so I want to do a couple test things on this camera to see how it films and what the quality of it is but it's a tiny little thing tiny square little thing um, if you guys know what a GoPro Sessions is then you will know what I'm talking about look at that hair isn't that crazy I got it cut two weeks ago just the sides in the back I didn't get the top cut because I was kind of letting it grow out a little bit I don't know we'll see what happens I'll probably get annoyed with it and cut it because that's what I always do but anyway so I am going to cut this one and maybe I'll do a little film in here and we're gonna see how well this camera works but uh, it was a really good deal I think I paid like 129 with free shipping um, it was it was a used camera but it literally looks brand new came in all the original packaging and everything somebody bought it his ad said he bought it for his daughter and she didn't want it so he used it once to try it out and that was it so it came with it came with a charger, the original packaging, the actual camera itself, and the case that goes around it. And uh, from what I hear, these things are waterproof. Now, I don't know, my other GoPro that I always use is the Hero Plus, which is this one with the LCD screen on the back. And I just changed the back out to make it waterproof. So once I put that back on it seals and clamp it down, that one's waterproof. So I don't know about this one here, but this one's weird because with that one you turn it on and then when you want to start recording you hit the other button to record. This one here, as soon as you turn it on it instantly starts recording. And then when you hit the button to stop recording it shuts it off. So yeah, that's the deal with this one. We're going to find out how good it works. So not really sure how this is going to turn out, but I'm going to give you a preview of a few of my lawns today. I always mow certain parts, and then I always tell you in the video, there's more. There's that new decal. How do you like that? I'll get back to that in a second. But uh, I always mow certain parts, and I always tell you, oh, there's more to it. Oh, yeah. Stripes on the tailgate. That's industrial-grade anti-slip tape. Uh, every time my tires got wet and I'd back up that wooden ramp, it, it kept kicking me sideways. But anyway, back to what I was saying. I always tell you there's more to the properties, but then I never really show them. This one, I that part right there, I filmed that I don't know how many times in the past. There's a swing set to the right. Some people remember that. When I had my original Great Dane and I got the swing caught and I flipped the Great Dane. Um, flipped it right over end for end. But anyway, this is a property I've had for quite a while. Massive leaves in the fall. I do big fall cleanups here. but it's kind of connected to the property to the left over there and I do not mow that one. I have mowed it before in the past for the lady that lives there but she, her husband always did it or her son did it or her son is older 
doesn't live there, has his own business. And he would come and mow for her once in a while. Uh, the husband passed away about a year ago, maybe two years ago, and I did the leaves for her then. But now she has some company that does it. Um, some solo guy, I believe. But anyway, here is the left side of the house. So you see that big area that I cut. And then there's this side here. That big area, I always cut it three and a quarter. This Everything else I'm going to show you on this property is cut it between two and a half and two and three quarter. If you don't cut it at that, it doesn't even look like it was cut. It literally never grows. The big part that I cut at three and a quarter, that's, that part grows very well all the time throughout the entire season. That side, this back part back here, and then the little parts up by the house, none of that ever grows. Very, very little bit at a time. And that, that's pretty much it. But this is the rundown on this property. So any of you that remember this from previous videos, now you know what the full property looks like.
We'll start this off by blowing off the mower. Anytime I mow big properties or properties that have a lot of uh, get a lot of buildup on my deck, I always blow it off before I put it back in the trailer. <clears throat> but that was a lot of mowing, huh? I had that set on speed level two when I was putting this video together because if I did it in real time, it, it would have just oh, it'd have been long for sure. But this is a fire hall, and I think I filmed little parts of this as well. You guys have never seen the entire thing. So I tried to film every bit of it except for two small parts, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but this big area back here, I know I filmed that before. And there's a little area, the first part you saw me mowing when the video first started of the actual mowing clips, that whole big area. Um, from where you can kind of see the horseshoe pits <clears throat> over to the driveway that runs over. That was all four foot tall at one time. I knocked it down for them. I made a video of that. I did it with the Xmark 52 Vantage. If you haven't seen that, go back to my videos and find that. That was pretty crazy. Um, I started it off with a picture of the Xmark up against the weeds uh, that were over there, that whole big section. And it was actually taller than the Xmark Stander. And I ate right through that stuff. So definitely a pretty cool video. If you haven't seen that one, go check that one out. But this is, uh, it definitely is a pretty big property. You see me blowing up and down the side. There's always cobwebs on the side here. So when I mow the grass, the grass gets stuck in the cobwebs. And I blow off the side of the building for them. Knock all them cobwebs down, get the grass out of it. But, uh. This is definitely one of my favorite accounts. I've had it for a while. There's, I don't know if you can read that, but it's a memorial they have for fallen firefighters. Um, I spent some time as a volunteer firefighter in the next town over, and we did a lot with this fire company. Uh, these guys are great. Definitely one of my favorite places to mow. It's big. It takes a while. It grows like crazy the entire season. There's never a slow time on this property, but um, they treat me very well i never hear from them they never complain um never anything they never ask me for anything um extra like is a freebie if they want anything they always say just give me a price or just do it and bill us and you know just really really good people everyone that comes in not here uh waves to me that everybody's just really nice and they pay me very well for this property company did it before me hacked it and just they they left grass laying all over sometimes they wouldn't even show up other times they'd you know show up and it looked like a hay field when they left they just just no pride in their work at all but this is the other little part i didn't film that i mow and in a second you're going to see another small part um that's also included in this property that i didn't film either but um, both just smaller parts 
it wasn't really worth setting the camera up just to do a couple passes through here. Um, but like I said, great, great account. I love it. I hope I never lose it. I hope they never decide to go with somebody else. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. And I can mow whenever I want. This is the other little part, just a little stretch along here. It's like three passes, four passes. Um, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely another one of my favorites. And it's, it's pretty big, as you guys can see. It's definitely a large account. So it takes me roughly about 45 minutes to an hour to weed whack it, mow it, blow it off. Um, and that's by myself, obviously. Okay, I get a lot of comments all the time. People always say, is that all you mow is big properties? Well, I don't. I do have a handful of smaller ones, and that's why I'm showing this one. Uh, I don't believe I've ever filmed anything here. I've had this one for quite a while. Uh, I will film it eventually. I guess it'd be pretty easy to film. But here, this is one of my smaller yards, and I thought I'd throw this in here, do a walk around on it, and show it to you so that you could see what's involved in this one I do have some smaller yards and this is just the side of it and then the second I'll go around the back so it, it is one of my smaller accounts and like I said I, I get a lot of comments all the time um, over to the left there I don't know if you can see but grass is growing right up the side of that fence the guy that mows that he does it with a newer skag cheetah he comes in there, he scalps it down, leaves grass laying everywhere, doesn't weed whack anything. It looks like hammered crap all the time. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, you guys can see I do have some smaller accounts. I have a handful of them. Most of my accounts are bigger, but, you know, I I like it that way. And I, I can charge a good price for them and make them profitable and worth my time. And I can just get out there and do what I need to do, but I, I do have smaller ones like this to fill in spaces, but, um, but yeah, so a lot of people have asked, <laughs> and here's an example of one of the smaller ones that I do. Okay, I hope this hasn't become too boring for you guys, but I just wanted to give a rundown of some of my properties. Here's another one. This is two houses side by side. They connect I picked up the one um, on the left, which you'll see in a second. Obviously, this is the one on the right. Um, I picked up the one on the left this year, and she was so happy. She called the lady next door and said, you need to get rid of your lawn care guy and go with mine. So she said, okay. She lives in Connecticut, Massachusetts, something like that. But anyway, this is like a, just an extra house for her. So she said, sure, I actually just met her today, and I've been mowing it all season. She was in town, a uh, very nice lady, and the two of them today both said they wanted a price on uh, doing a fall cleanup. I gave it to them, they jumped on it, and this lady here says that she would like me to trim all these hedges on the property. There's quite a few of them. But so anyway, I picked these two up, and I parked the truck right where you can see it out there on the road, and I knock them both out. Um, this is another bigger one for sure, especially when you add the two of them together here. But in case you haven't noticed, I, I've been taking this new GoPro Sessions on that mini stick that I have um, and carrying that around while I'm blowing off these properties. And I don't know why it never occurred to me before, but I thought perfect chance to uh, walk you around the property and show them to you since obviously I have to walk around it to blow everything off anyway. But uh, this one here, see, I'm, I think I'm in not here in about an hour, 45 minutes an hour. Yeah, I'm trying to think now how long it actually took me. I think, I don't think 45 minutes, I think probably all of an hour, maybe an hour and 10 minutes, something like that. Um, the posts there, I do not weed whack around them posts. I weed whack a little bit in between them. She does not want me anywhere near them. The company that mowed here before uh whittled those posts down <laughs> quite a bit with a weed whacker because they just went crazy and instead of just throttling down and lightly triggering the weed whacker when you go around wooden posts they just went all out and destroyed them so she doesn't want me anywhere near them there's a little part that goes up the side there and goes right to the cliff that goes down to the niagara river beautiful view i love these properties i have a handful of them on the river 
Um, but this is just a side part there. She didn't have any grass growing there. There was actually a pool right there to the left, um, that grass area. And years ago when I worked for a pool company, I actually used to open and close that pool. And I would do weekly vax on it. The area I'm blowing off right now, because it's a little thicker there. We got grass to grow in there this year. But it all used to be a huge in-ground pool with a fence around it. And she got rid of it all. She didn't remember me from when I did her pool years ago. But um, but anyway, it's, it's pretty neat that now, <laughs> years later, I'm mowing grass where a pool used to be that I used to take care of. So um, this is just the final blow off on it. And I don't know if you can see all the way across clear to the woods on the other end. That would be, <clears throat> excuse me, that would be the other side of the next property over. And I mow from one side clear to the other. And it's a nice property. I can mow it in any direction I have found out, and it stripes beautiful. I don't really know how well this camera's going to do. Once I upload this and then I watch it on my TV like I do with all YouTube videos, I would stream them through Roku. Um, but then I'll get to see what it's like. So uh, let me know what you guys think about this type of video. I hope it hasn't been too boring or too drawn out, but uh, definitely a new style for me. So we'll see how it goes.